Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl video here on the channel. A little quick guide how to evolve Cleffa into Clefairy or Clefairy finally into Clefable. Uh, this is going to be mostly Clefairy into Clefable. I'll show you guys how to get a Clefairy. But if you do end up finding a Cleffa instead, basically the way to evolve Cleffa into Clefairy is to level it up with High Friendship, which the best way is to walk with it and use uh, put a give it uh, the Soothe Bell. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get the Soothe Bell and all that good stuff stuff in this video so if you do find this video useful and enjoy it be sure to leave it a like so more people can see it subscribe for more and all that good stuff now let's go to the town map if you head south of heart home city there's a, a a mansion right here to the right you cannot miss it you basically just head down from heart home and you end up going down this path you end up right here at the mansion now uh, if we go inside the mansion, I'll show you guys exactly where to get the Soothe Bell. I've showed you guys in previous videos, but if you haven't seen it, I'll show you guys where to get it right now. So once you go inside the mansion, you're going to head over to the left side over here, and we're going to pop into this room, and we are going to go talk to this person, and they're going to give us a Soothe Bell. I've already done it, so you're not going to see me be able to do it. Again, all you got to do is give it to Cleffa, level it up, and you're good to go. Now, here's the thing. If you want to skip Cleffa, go straight to Clefairy, which probably you, you, you're probably going to want Cleffa anyways. Um... But there's going to be a couple different spawns for, for both. So for Clefairy, you can actually found, find Clefairy anywhere in Mount Coronet. So Mount Coronet obviously being right here. Uh, so if you go to Mount Coronet, there's either the snow area, the second floor, the top, the fourth floor, fifth floor, sixth floor, top cave, or basement uh, first floor. Uh, the spawn rates are mostly rare for most of those places very rare for the top in the snow area so i'd go anywhere else but so all the other areas are going to be rare there's another place to go and if you go to this mansion where we're at right now there's actually the trophy garden which unfortunately uh you have to complete your national decks in order for this kind of to unlock but if you do what you're going to want to do is head to the right side of the mansion you're going to go in here and you're going to talk to this guy uh, the first time you talk to him after you complete uh, the Sinnoh decks and unlock the national decks, you're going to go ahead and uh, speak to him. You're just going to say yes to everything he says. And he's going to tell you that the daily uh, Pokemon in the garden is whatever it is. Today it's Jigglypuff, uh, but there's always going to be a secondary. He's not going to tell you what the secondary is. The secondary is going to be the previous day. Um, so the way that works that is, is that the old one is going to rotate. So in 24 hours, Jigglypuff is going to become the secondary, which he's not going to tell me who it is, and he's going to tell me a new one. So there's going to be like a main and a secondary. So the main is usually easier to catch and more common. Uh, the secondary is usually harder to find. So basically, you're going to want to go to the trophy garden. And the tip that I gave you guys in the Jigglypuff video is that if you go to the uh, Pokemon, uh, your Pokemon box here, and you find a Pokemon that is level 18, you put it in the top of your party and then use a max repel the only pokemon that are going to spawn in here are the daily pokemon so it could be clefairy jigglypuff meowth chansey eevee porygon cleffa igglybuff uh, marill uh, azuril uh, plusle uh, minun if i'm pronouncing that right uh, cast form bonsley mime jr and happiny so there's a quite a few different ones that could spawn here as the daily uh, but there's also wild pokemon so there's jigglypuff for example because right now jigglypuff's my daily now i do know the clefairy is my secondary i'll throw it up on screen right now you guys can see that i actually f encountered one but it took me quite a few different encounters with jigglypuff to finally find that clefairy i was trying to see if the clefairy was my secondary thankfully it was now the wild pokemon you can find is uh, St staravia uh, roselia pichu Krikatoon and Pikachu and they're all going to be under level 18 that's why you want to have your top party as level 18 because the dailies are going to spawn as level 18 the other ones are going to spawn as level 17 so if you use a, a repel of any sort the only Pokemon you're going to find in the grass are going to be the dailies but if you of course if your lead Pokemon is over level 18 so even if it's 19 or higher then you're not going to be able to find it so that's another method if you don't want to f go to Mount Coronet uh, for uh, Clefairy um, in that way again i'm only encountering jigglypuff unfortunately right now the other thing is like i said if you're trying to fill out your national decks obviously you want to get cleffa and then evolve it into uh, a clefairy or maybe you already have cleffa right and you just don't feel like leveling it up and taking the time to you know raise this level well then cleffa can actually be found on mountain cornet route 11 uh, 211 in the entrance or route 207 in the entrance so let's go over there right now and see if we can uh, find a cleffa as well so there's a couple different spawns like i said if you 
go over to uh, Eterna City here, um, the Route 211 is right here, or you can go from uh, Celestic Town, same thing down here, Route 207. Uh, this is going to actually be 208, uh, but it remains 211 on both sides right here. Um, you can go you can go from this way. So if we go all the way to the right, you're going to be able to see. Now, unfortunately, depending on the time of day, is going to depend when it spawns. So this is kind of the area in Route 211, uh, which obviously I'm not going to want to use a repel. I probably won't run into one, uh, unfortunately, because uh, in the morning they're uncommon. In the day and in the night, they're very rare. Not just rare, but very rare. So you have a better chance to get, catch a Cleffa in the early morning uh, before it's like actually considered day. So if it's day or night, it's going to be much less of a chance. Like I said, Cleffa can also be uh, a spawn in the trophy garden as well. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm probably not going to find a Cleffa here, so we're just going to move on and I'll explain to you guys how to evolve your Clefairy into a uh, Clefable. Again, Cleffa, all it requires is leveling up with a you know, high friendship, which you use a Soothe Bell, walk with it, all that good stuff. So in order to evolve Clefairy into Clefable, you're going to need a Moonstone. Now, Moonstones can be acquired of two different ways as of right now, as what we know. So the first way is digging in the underground. It can be a little bit tedious, obviously, but you can find a bunch of other stones. You're going to need to evolve other Pokemon, Mysterious Shards, Reminous Park, all that good stuff. The second way is to basically catch Clefairies, catch uh, Jigglypuffs, all those different kinds of Pokemon, because they could be holding one. I actually had uh, Jigglypuff just, just before recording this that was holding a Moonstone. I was down to one because we already recorded the video video on how to evolve uh, Jigglypuff and then it found it found one so my Jiggly uh, one of the Jigglypuffs was was holding it so I got a second Moonstone which is technically my third Moonstone so those are the two ways to get the Moonstone and then you could go ahead and just give it to Clefairy and evolve it into a Clefable it's really that simple not too difficult you just give it the stone again finding the stone could be a little bit tedious like I said there's a couple different methods uh, that you can go about, but uh, that's pretty much it. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Who knows? Maybe the Clefairy you end up catching ends up holding a Moonstone and you could just like actually use it on that same Clefairy to evolve it into a Clefable. Maybe you get lucky. Uh, maybe not though. Who knows? But uh, hopefully this found video helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more Nintendo and Pokemon content, and I'll see you guys soon in another one. Until then, my friends, game on, and thanks for watching.